Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at divisibility by 3. Now this is more interesting because in this case we look, we do not look at the last digit or the last two digits. Here we basically look at the sum of the digits. So a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. Basically if sum of the digits is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3. So this rule seems to be quite different from whatever we have learned so far. So let's take an example. So let's say that you have a number 39 and you have to find out if it is divisible by 3 or not. So instead of actual division, what you can do is you just add the digits. So 9 plus 3 is 12 and 12 is divisible by 3. So the number is also divisible by 3. Let's take bigger numbers, 393. So here the sum would be 3 plus 9 plus 3, which is 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So 393 is also divisible by 3. Let's take another number 3938. In that case, the sum of the digits would be 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8, which is equal to 23. And 23 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, this number is not divisible by 3. Even bigger numbers 141396. So here 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 6 comes out to be 24 which is divisible by 3 which in turn means that this number is also divisible by 3. So that's pretty simple. Now but the question is how did we come up with such a unique rule for 3? So how did we know that it is the sum of the digits which decides if the number will be divisible by 3 or not? So let's see how it works. So let us take example of any number. Let's say we take 938. So for 938, this is units place, tens place, hundreds place. So let's expand the number. So this would be 9 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 8 into 1. Now how can we write 100? So 100 can be written as 99 plus 1. How can we write 10? 10 can be written as 9 plus 1 plus 8 into 1 is 8. So therefore, using the distributive property, 9 into 99 plus 1 can be written as 9 into 99 plus 9 into 1. That is A into B plus C is A into B plus A into C. Similarly, here also 3 into 9 plus 3 into 1 plus 8. Now here, if you look at this term, 9 into 99. So 9 into 99 is divisible by 3. Similarly, 3 into 9 would also be divisible by 3. So if you look at this, so 9 into 99 is divisible by 3, 3 into 9 is divisible by 3. So what is left out? So you are left out with these three terms, 9 into 1, 3 into 1 and 8. So basically you are left with 9 plus 3 plus 8, which is nothing but sum of the digits. So only this part you have a doubt. So in this case you might say that 9 into 1 is also divisible by 3. That's because the digit has 9 and 3. If instead of 9 you would have had 6. In that case, in that case it would be 6 into 1. So 6 into 1 again you do not know if it is divisible by 3 or not. So therefore the sum of these digits is that particular part which you are under doubt. So therefore what we do is we first find out if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. That means the rest of the part will anyways be divisible by 3. So let us take one more example. Suppose you have a number 41396. So this can be written as 4 into 10,000 plus 1 into 1000 plus 3 into 100 plus 9 into 10 plus 6 into 1. So this can be written as 4 into 9999 plus 1 plus 1 into 999 plus 1 plus 3 into 99 plus 1 plus 9 into 9 plus 1 plus 6. So here you can say 4 into 9999 plus 4 that is 4 into 1 is 4 plus 1 into 999 plus 1 plus 3 into 99 plus 3 plus 9 into 9 plus 9 plus 6. Now all that which has 999 or 99 or 9, so all of these 
we know that they are divisible by 3. So we are only left with these digits 4, 1, 3, 9, 6. So we are only not sure about the sum of the digits, whether that is divisible by 3 or not. So from this logic, we came up with this rule for divisibility by 7 because th this is the only part which we are not sure if that is divisible by 3 or not. So let us look at a few numbers and see if they are divisible by 3 or not. So for the first number, find out sum of the digits 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 6 is 17. So 17 is not divisible by 3, therefore the number is also not divisible by 3. Let's look at this one. So here sum of the digits would be 1 plus 7 plus 6 plus 1. That is 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. So 15 is divisible by 3, therefore the number is also divisible by 3. Now we talk about divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So divisibility of 9 is very similar to divisibility by 3. In fact, how it works is also very similar to the divisibility by 3. So let us take some examples. So let's say you have a number 9683. So how will you know if it is divisible by 9 or not? Let's find out the sum of the digits. 9 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3 which is equal to 26 and 26 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, this number is not divisible by 9. Now, if you want to verify, do actual division by 9 and see whether it is divisible or not. So, this is 6. So, you put a 0. It is 8. Now, 9, 7 is a 63. This is 5, it's 3, so 9, 5, so 45, so you have a remainder 8. So that means this is not divisible by 9. Let's take one more example. Let's suppose you have a number 1881. Eight, so sum of the digits would be 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1, which is 18. So 18 is divisible by 9, therefore the number is divisible by 9. So let's prove it or verify it by actual division. So 9, 2 is 18. So here you put a 0 again. So this becomes 81. So 9 nines are 81 and the remainder is 0. So that means this number is exactly divisible by 9. Now how does it work? Again the same logic in this case also. So let's take one number as example. Let's say that number be 1881. So this can be written as 1 into 1000 plus 8 into 100 plus 8 into 10 plus 1 into 1. So 1000 can be written as 999 plus 1. 100 can be written as 99 plus 1. 10 can be written as 9 plus 1. And this can be written as 1. So therefore this would be 1 into 999 plus 1. This would be 8 into 99 plus 8. This would be 8 into 9 plus 8. And this would be 1. So this part is definitely divisible by 9. This is also divisible by 9 because 999 is divisible by 9. Similarly, 99 is divisible by 9. 9 is also divisible by 9. So what are we left with? We are left with 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. That is sum of the digits. So we need to check if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9 or not. And that is how we came up with this. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.